arrived at the scene. Election Day is still nearly six weeks away, but already absentee ballot applications in Hamilton County are up compared to the same period two years ago. And two years ago was a hotly contested, high turnout presidential year. The growth of early voting by mail and the growth of something else, cell phones, are changing the way campaigns are run. Local 12 reporter Jeff Hurst joins us now from the newsroom with how those changes are impacting you. Jeff? Well, good afternoon. If you've been seeing more political ads on TV or think you're getting more political mailers at home, you are not alone. The change to early voting means the candidates want to hook you now. Get that vote mailed in today before you might change your mind. The traditional campaign stump speech is still very much with us. The Republican Party has been overtaken by the zealots, by the extremists, by the radicals. But lately, there's also more and more of this. Can our Republican team of John Kasich, Rob Portman, and Steve Shabbat count on your support? Phone calls plus direct mail and broadcast advertisements are starting sooner than in years gone by because of this. Uh, we're seeing higher and higher numbers of folks taking advantage of voting early or voting by mail through absentee. You used to need an excuse for an absentee ballot. You'd be out of town, for example. But a few years ago, Ohio made early voting okay for everyone, and it's catching on. 2,000 more Hamilton County voters have already asked for mail-in ballots than at this same time in 2008. And when you request a ballot, your phone number and address are made available to the political parties. From the time you request an absentee ballot, your mailbox, uh, your phone, you know, you'll become very popular. But parties and pollsters have a new problem. With more and more people using cell phones, the traditional way of calling voters, getting a list of landline numbers, does not work as well. The sample is definitely different than it was before people were holding the phone, you know, and driving around in their car. So candidates have to work harder to find voters now, weeks before Election Day. That's why if you signed up for an early mail ballot, a political message will be coming soon to a mailbox or telephone near you. Will you be voting this year by mail? Every campaign is looking for the likely voter, and these are highly likely voters, so it's worth spending the money on them. Multiple mailings. Um, if you get a feel for it, targeting your message, even your TV message to those folks. <laughs> Now, besides mail-in ballots, Ohioans can also vote early in person, starting each county board of elections next Tuesday. Election Day, of course, in person on Election Day, November 2nd. Back to you. It's coming soon, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Right. We want to know 